Here at Mass Effect Follower, we often find ourselves lost in thought regarding various bits of lore offered to us by the Mass Effect universe. We entertain theoretical questions such as what would a Hanar spacesuit look like, or how many brakes could Garrus calibrate if Garrus could calibrate brakes. But there is one question that has haunted us since we were first introduced to the concept. What if the Genophage never happened? What if the Salarians never cooked up this biological nuke to bring an end to the Krogan rebellions? Let's explore that hypothetical timeline. First off, we need to remember that the Genophage was a last resort. After the Krogans were uplifted before their time in order to aid in the war against the Rachni, they realized their physical potential and began conquering worlds left and right. The Citadel races were brought to the brink of desperation, meaning the Krogan were winning. If a truce were even possible by that point, you can bet that the Asari would have given that a try. So if the Genophage wasn't brought about, whether due to technological or moral issues, we have to assume one of two outcomes. The first one isn't pretty, with the Genophage being the only thing capable of bringing about a relatively peaceful end to the rebellions, the Citadel races would have likely resorted to the idea of winning at any cost. Sure, the Salarians were great at the biological side of science, but the Turians knew warfare. Remember the unexploded bomb on Tachanka? Multiply that by thousands. Every planet with a primarily Krogan presence would become a target. With explosive devices manufactured by the Turians and stealthily placed by the Salarians, the Krogan, now classified as a galaxy-wide threat, would have been almost completely annihilated. No amount of individual battle prowess could stand up to that sort of combined military precision. But what about the high Krogan birth rates? One could imagine they would quickly gain strength if even a few males and females remained. Taking out an entire race is all but impossible. Well, one would assume that many bombs would be left over in known Krogan regions in order to keep all of that in check, supplemented by constant vigilance from the Citadel races. Alternatively, they could experience a surprise resurgence from the Krogan, either by not preparing adequately or by being unaware of the Krogan birth rates. So many outcomes stem from that point, and all of them are unpleasant. Then we have the second possibility, in which the Citadel races are either unwilling or unable to come up with a plan to destroy an entire race. And it is no prettier than the first. In this scenario, we would see the Krogan continue to spread, virtually unchecked. Planets would fall by the hundreds, if not thousands, and even the Citadel itself might become conquered. It is also entirely possible that the Krogan would eventually accept a peaceful surrender. We've seen them capable of more than just violence, after all. In this case, maybe they'd end up becoming the dominant race of the galaxy, ruling from the Citadel with other races allowed a comfortable, but meager, place below them. This would likely lead to another war down the line, or perhaps they would become equals, with the former Citadel races taking their previous places with the Krogan at their side. It would be a long and painful path to equality and mutual respect, but it is still a possibility. But at the same time, if the Krogan are surrounded by nothing but war during all of this time, their bloodlust could simply increase, leading to a complete hostile takeover with no prisoners taken. Then again, let's not forget the combined might of the Citadel races. While they may have initially been against the slaughter of an entire species, it wouldn't be unreasonable to expect an eventual change of heart if this scenario were allowed to continue. The mass elimination of Krogan forces could happen here as well. Though this late into the campaign, it would likely be far less precise and much more messy. Overall, without the Genophage, it is highly unlikely anything could have been done to avoid a massive war. Sure, it could have ended with the Krogan earning their place in the galaxy as a respectable race, but it could have also resulted in the mass extinction one way or another. Whether or not the end justifies the means will always be up for debate, but it is certainly fun to think about. So what do you think? Is there a certain path you think would have been better than the Genophage? Do you support the methods used by the Citadel races during the rebellions? We would love to hear your ideas, so let us know in the comments down below. And while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.